Today, let's learn about a default functional interface, which is function. It can accept some data type and it can return some data type. The name of abstract method is apply here. Let's see how we can use it. So for this, let's go to the demo class. So here, as you can see, we have written our own functional interface operation, which contains one abstract method. It can accept an integer and it can return an integer. And for this, we have implemented it with the help of a small lambda function. Or the other way around, we can say that in order to write this lambda expression, we need a functional interface. But what if I say we can do the same thing without writing this custom functional interface? For this, let me simply copy it and paste below. So currently, both of them are looking same. But for the second one, let me change it to function. So this function can accept an integer and it can return an integer. And I guess this is not clearly visible. So let me bring it to the next line and do a control shift O. And here, instead of increment, now you know the abstract method name is apply. So let me write something like this and execute. So you see, we are getting the same answer. Now let's see one more use case of this function interface. This time, my functional interface is accepting a string and returning an integer. Here, I have mentioned value. And while returning, I'm saying value.length because it will be an integer. In the apply, let me write something which generally you don't do for me, that is subscribing. So here on executing, you see it is still working fine. Although this time the input is something different. So now you tell me in the comments, what can be the other use cases of this function functional interface? 